5.30 tonight, after more than a year since a Montgomery County police officer lost both of his legs, police and county officials are calling for harsher penalties for reckless and negligent driving. Our Lionel Donovan, he sat down with that officer and has more on his recovery and his fight for change. It's all, uh, you know, a vivid memory, and for me, that's okay. Although more than a year has passed, Montgomery County Police Sergeant Patrick Kep says he can still remember everything about the night he lost his legs to a reckless driver. I had some sense that, uh, you know, things were going to be drastically altered at that point. The driver, 19-year-old Rafael Mayorga, was reportedly driving at least 110 miles per hour along I-270. He crashed into Sergeant Kep while he was laying down stop sticks to slow Mayorga's vehicle down. Although Mayorga was brought into custody and now faces multiple charges, Kep would have to undergo months of physical therapy to adjust to his new normal. But Kep says he was focused on getting back to teaching new recruits and fulfilling his role as a DUI instructor and bring hope to his colleagues. Um, being able to give a little you know, motivation by me coming back to work and, and while I'm not on the road yet, um, that's been important for me as well and I think and hope for them too. Now Kep's calling for Maryland's lawmakers to take a stronger stand against reckless driving, which he says has increased since COVID. When uh, myself and other officers make a stop and we look into our system and we see that they have 28 stops and it's 28 stops for speeding and it's 27 warnings. That, that's a problem. On the one-year anniversary of Kep's accident, Montgomery County's executive echoed Kep's sentiments and called for putting jail time on the table for reckless and aggressive driving. Sending a serious message about the severity of their actions is the only way to drive home the point that their behavior has to change. As Kep continues his recovery, he also hopes to show incoming officers just how important it is to keep the county's roads safe. And whether it's uh, stopping speeding drivers, stopping distracted drivers, or stopping the impaired drivers, um, that that work really does save lives. Lionel Donovan, WUSA 9.